Hello everyone, and welcome to part two of Ms. Lazar is Bizarre. The greatest idea in the history of the world. After all the excitement was over, we went back to class and learned more about weather. Miss Daisy said she was proud of the way I made a connection between volcanoes and tornadoes and toilet bowls. That made me feel good. But then an announcement came over the loudspeakers that made me feel bad. Students, this is a reminder that you should never put crayons or any other inappropriate objects into the toilet bowls. Thank you. Everybody looked at me. I didn't put anything down the toilet bowl. I didn't even have to go to the bathroom in the first place. Luckily, it was time for recess. Me and Michael and Ryan climbed the monkey bars. Annoying Andrea and Emily were playing catch nearby with a tennis ball. I bet I know why you put crayons down the toilet, AJ, Andrea said. You were trying to start a flood so school would be closed and you could go home. What is her problem? Why can't a toilet ball fall, fall on her head? That was a total lie she made up. I didn't even think of flooding the school so we could go home until the bathroom was already flooded. I just ignored Andrea. Tell us the truth, Ryan whispered. Were you the one who put crayons down the toilet? You can admit it to us, AJ, said Michael. We won't tell anybody. Guys, I said I didn't put anything down the toilet. I didn't even have to go to the bathroom. I just wanted to get out of class for a few minutes. Andrea and Emily were still throwing their tennis ball back and forth. You hate school, Andrea said. That's why you did it, AJ. You're going to get in trouble, Emily said. I didn't do it, I yelled. Did too. We went back and forth like that for a while, until the tennis ball that they were playing catch with got loose. It rolled over near the monkey bars. I jumped down and grabbed it. Toss me the ball, AJ, Andrea said, holding her hands out. Well, nana nana boo boo on her, because that's when I got the greatest idea in the history of the world. I didn't toss the tennis ball back to Andrea. I took that ball and chucked it up on the roof of the school. Oops, I said to Andrea. Sorry, I missed you. Bad throw. Way to go, AJ, said Ryan. Wow, I didn't know you could throw that far, said Michael. Emily started crying, the big crybaby. That's my tennis ball, she said. I got it for my birthday. It's a special ball that glows in the dark. Now you're really going to be in trouble, Andrea said. First you stuffed crayons in the toilet, and now you threw Emily's ball on the roof. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell on you. My mother is vice principal of the PTA, you know. She could have you suspended. She means it, AJ, said Ryan. If you get suspended, you still have to do all your classwork, Michael said. He must have been reading my mind, because as soon as Andrea said I would be suspended, I started thinking it would be cool to sit home and play video games all day. Okay, okay, I said to Emily. I'll get your stupid glow-in-the-dark tennis ball back. Up on the roof. How was I going to get Emily's ball back? There were no ladders or stairs leading up to the roof of the school. I didn't know how to get up there. There was only one thing to do. I had to go find Miss Lazar. She would be able to figure out how to get up there. Me and Michael and Ryan went inside the school and down the steps to the basement where Miss Lazar's room is. We knocked on her door and she opened it. Miss Lazar's room is the awesomest room in the school. She doesn't have a bunch of boring books or computers. She got all kinds of tools and machines and junk all over the place. It is cool. In the corner, I noticed a door with a sign on it that said, Secret Room. Wow, a secret room. My friend Billy, who lives around the corner, told me that every school has a secret room down in the basement. Billy says that's where they keep the bad kids. What's in the secret room? Ryan asked Miss Lazar. That's where I keep the bad kids, said Miss Lazar. Billy was right. But then Miss Lazar laughed and said she was just joking. She told us she had something very special in the secret room, but she couldn't tell us what it was because if she did, it wouldn't be secret. We told Miss Lazar that some kid, not me, threw a tennis ball up on the roof of the school. This looks like a job for a super custodian, said Miss Lazar, grabbing her toilet bowl plunger. She stuck it into her belt like a sheriff in a western movie, he sticks his gun in a holster. Why do you need a toilet bowl plunger to get a tennis ball off the roof? I asked. 
Oh, you never know when a plunger might come in handy, Miss Lazar said. She's weird. Miss Lazar marched out to the playground, and we followed her. She looked up at the roof, and then she looked at the wall of the school. Then she did the most amazing thing in the history of the world. She started climbing the wall. Everybody in the playground stopped what they were doing and ran over to watch. Miss Lazar dug her fingers and toes of her shoes into the little cracks between the bricks, and she slowly made her way up the wall. It was amazing. You could have been there. You should have been there. I guess word got around, because by the time Miss Lazar reached the second floor of the school, even Mr. Klutz had come out to watch. What's going on? Mr. Klutz asked. Miss Lazar is climbing up the roof to get Emily's tennis ball, Ryan told him. I used to do a little rock climbing in my younger days, Mr. Klutz said. Finally, Miss Lazar was standing up on the roof of the school. Everybody was craning their necks to see her. There are all kinds of things up here, Miss Lazar called down. Suddenly, balls and notebooks and hats and other stuff were flying off the roof. There's my old frisbee, some kid yelled. I was wondering where that umbrella went, somebody else. Emily got her stupid ball back. Everybody clapped and cheered for Miss Lazar as she climbed back down the wall. Wow, Miss Lazar is like Spider-Man, one of the third graders hollered. Okay, everyone, Mr. Klutz said, clapping his hands. The show is over, and so is recess. Everyone, back to class now. Boo! Hooray for Miss Lazar, somebody yelled. Hip, hip, hooray, we all shouted. Nothing to it, Miss Lazar said when she got to the bottom. Time to mop the cafetorium. Duty calls. Then we all giggled because Miss Lazar said duty again. Okay, and that is part two of Miss Lazar is Bizarre. I hope you're liking it as much as I do. And tune in for part three. Bye.